everyone. I wanted to jump on here and share with you guys my September favorites. Can you guys even believe that we are already in October? So I have some beauty favorites, I have some household favorites, and then I also have a very small little smidgen of kid favorites. I'm gonna share with you guys my kid favorites super quick because there are not very many of them and I wanna just kinda get them out of the way. So first off, I have these Melissa and Doug sticker book things. I mean, I have so many of them, I kind of went a little bit nuts, you guys. I mean, like we, I have one more, don't worry, I have another one, there we go. But these are like all reusable stickers and they are amazing. And what's even more amazing is that I got them all on sale and you know how Joanne Fabrics has like crazy awesome coupons and you can use them all? So you can save like 50% off of like five items and then take an additional 20% off of your entire purchase. That's basically what I did. This one is one of Fiona's favorites. It's like a little book and it comes with these little dolls and then it also comes with all these outfits. It's kind of like the modern twist on paper dolls. Another one she loves from Melissa and Doug is this Make a Face sticker pack. And this comes with all these different faces. I don't know if you can see. And now, oh, see, that's a really nice, good job, Fiona. She's looking real good. Um, all these different faces. I think she used a headband for her smile. And it comes with like lips and eyes and headbands and more eyes and eyebrows. Look at all those eyebrows, guys. What could you do if you're if you had different eyebrows like that? You could fix up your eyebrows. So good, what the heck. So those are definitely a favorite for right now. The other favorites that we have are these two books. This is called Everything a Child Should Know About God. And now this is gonna be specific to if you are a Christian, so this is gonna be geared more towards that kind of mindset if you're wanting to raise your children like that. If you're not, then this probably won't apply to you. But this book is so good, you guys. I honestly probably wanna do a review just going over all of the amazing things that I love about this book. This goes through like everything a child should know about God. Like it's seriously amazing. We read one every single day in the morning time. The next one is Jesus Calling for Little Ones. If you guys have ever read the traditional Jesus Calling book, and I believe it's by Sarah Young as well. That is a super awesome devotional book. She has one for toddlers and little ones, and we go through and my kids each pick one every day. Sometimes they pick the same one. They always pick this one, laugh with me. I created laughter. So they laugh and they think that's hilarious. So those are two favorites. I want to share them with you guys because I know a lot of you guys are moms. You seem to be interested when I share things like that. So moving on into my personal favorites, we'll start off with beauty just because I always do. And the first thing I want to share with you guys is this Pixie Natural Brow Duo. There is a pencil on one side and it's angled and then there's also like a little gel wand that goes into that gel right there on this side and I really like it. I feel like it's affordable. It's from Target and it's a good quality easy product. I'm all about easy. I don't have time to do crazy things with my brows because I got lots of kids. The next thing I have been loving is this highlighter from Pacifica and it is called F Ethereal. It's so pretty you guys. I love it. I feel like can you guys see that a little shimmy shimmer? It's so nice. I've had this for a while. I think I got this from an Ipsy bag or something, but I really like it. Moving on, I am loving this Method dish soap and this is in the scent pomegranate and it smells so good. I hate smelling things for you guys on camera because it's like, ooh, this smells so good, but you'll never know. It's like when somebody like eats a big brownie in front of you and then you're like, well, that was nice. This Oregon chai is my favorite. It tastes like a big cup of fall. And I mentioned this in my fall favorites video that I uploaded a couple days ago. And I got this from Walmart. I got a couple of questions of where I purchased it. I got it from Walmart and it is so yummy and so amazing and you should go get some. The next two favorites kind of go hand in hand. And the first part is the Nespresso espresso machine. My mother-in-law and father-in-law were sweet enough to buy this for my husband and I for our birthdays this year and we got it from Costco and it was a really really good price and it is amazing. It is an espresso machine at your house for you. It's not massive. It's really nice and compact and it takes these espresso pods which are the other part of my favorites and you just stick it right in there like you would with like a Keurig cup. We are getting our coffee from Highline Coffee. We have a subscription with them so we get a few bags of these every month and it's super yummy. It's fresh when they send it to you 
and we really really like it. Next I have been loving just getting one of those growers bunch of flowers from the grocery store and just keeping it on my table. I just like having the fall colors even though it's fall and it's getting colder it doesn't mean that you don't have to have flowers in your house and flowers always make me feel a little bit happier. The last thing that I wanted to share with you guys today is this book and it is called Desperate and it is by Sarah May and Sally Clarkson and this was given to me by my friend Lydia who also has a channel here on YouTube. She sent this to me when I was really struggling with some depression during my last pregnancy and some just hormonal stuff. We were getting ready to move. I was getting ready to have my third baby and she was so sweet. She sent me this. It just blesses me every time I read this book. So if you're looking for a good devotional that is just meeting you where you're at in your journey with motherhood, then this is a good book. So those are all my favorites for the month of September. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like videos like this, give this a thumbs up, please. And if you're not subscribed to me already, please subscribe. I'd like to get to know you as a subscriber. I hope you guys have a good day and you're all blessed and I will see you guys later, bye. Sure, I compare myself to other moms and other women sometimes. I feel like after I had kids, my butt like disappeared. My pants are falling off of me 90% of the time and I gotta start doing my squats, you know? So sometimes, sure, I do fall into that because we all do, but I am trying my hardest to challenge myself to just be real, to just...